All right, thanks for joining us. Over in Edwards, Battle Mountain Volleyball was looking to close out the regular season strong as they took on Steamboat. We got those highlights for you right now. With nine victories on the court this season, Battle Mountain Volleyball was looking to move into double digits as they took on Steamboat. Last time these teams met, the Huskies defeated the Sailors 3-1 and hoped to move past them again. Battle Mountain would take the first two sets and on set point, up 25-24, they looked to close Steamboat out. The point's a quick one, Gracie Halminski puts it away fast and the Huskies make quick work of Steamboat as they shut out the Sailors 3-0 and earn the regular season sweep. Battle Mountain will now turn their attention to a tournament matchup with Valley High. Now, Battle Mountain Volleyball wasn't the only team with a matchup in Edwards. Just a few miles away, Vail Christian hosted North Fork and were also on the hunt for a victory. In the gym at Vail Christian, the Saints were on the hunt for their 15th win of the season as they welcomed North Fork. The Miners came out of the gate by surprise as they take the first set here after Vail Christian puts too many hands on the ball but the Saints will remind the Miners there's still a lot of game left. Vail Christian puts the ball into play on set point of the second, and the rally is on. Miners working together to make a move, and they'll push back to the Saints. Jesse Allen makes a diving save, and they'll hit it back to the Miners, who won't be able to cross the net. Vail Christian takes the set, then they'll take the third set as well. Down 2-1, the Miners take the serve and they'll give it back to Vail Christian. The Saints make an illegal move and the point is awarded to North Fork. So the game moves into a tiebreaker to 15 where the Saints come up victorious. Vail Christian is going to win it 3-2. Now the regular season for fall sports is starting to wind down here in the Valley, but the postseason is drawing near. Let's take a look at the upcoming playoff pictures. Glossing over volleyball here in the Valley, Eagle Valley, they're going to play their last regular season game of the year on the road at Ferita Monument. The Devils are coming off a big win over Aspen. They won 3-0 and and will enter the postseason as the number two seeded team from the 4A Western Slope Division. Right behind them, not too far off, is Summit High, who's going to enter the postseason as the number three team out of the 4A Western Slope. They don't have another scheduled game this regular season. All their attention is going to be on making a run in the playoffs. Battle Mountain, with an up and down season, is situated at fourth in that division right now, with the game against Steamboat next Tuesday. So after this week, stay tuned because we'll give you the latest seeding updates for our schools here in the Valley when those playoffs start to pick up. Looking at soccer, the postseason's beginning already for Battle Mountain Boys Soccer. They'll take on Mullen Thursday in Edwards. The Huskies, they've only lost one game this season and will enter the postseason as the number three seeded team overall in boys class 4A soccer. So, you know, when you put together a regular season that goes that well, you're going to be seeded well in the playoffs. Eagle Valley secured a spot in the boys class 4A tournament as well and will take on Cheyenne Mountain as the number 29 overall seed. And switching gears to Class 2A soccer real quick, Vail Mountain School enters the postseason as the number one team overall. They matched up with a lot of 4A, 3A caliber schools with more depth, so they earned their number one overall spot. And they'll play their first playoff game on Friday against Front Range Christian. Now we'll take a look at football right here. Not many expectations for this Devils team, but... Eagle Valley will host nearby Glenwood Springs on the gridiron. Don't expect the Devils to make a postseason game this year, though. They've only come up victorious once and will have their last chance to do so against the Demons as they pretty much don't have a shot at making a postseason game this year. Vail Christian, on the other hand, sits at 5-3 and three and will play Wrangley this Friday on the road. The Saints are 5-3 and three on the year and sit at second in their division with a postseason appearance, most likely in their future. Eagle Valley entered the Class 4A state tournament for softball as the 31st overall seed and matched up with second seeded Riverdale Ridge, where the Devils, they got bounced in the first round. They would later enter a consolation matchup with number 15 Golden, but couldn't get the job done there either. And their season has now come to a close. So the Valley now has a 4A, two singles line, boys, tennis state champion. Daniel Blanche of Vail Christian caught the victory recently. 
So we caught up with him to see how it tastes. Well, fall sports are starting to wrap up here in the Valley like boys tennis, but for the first time in a long time at least, we have a state champion in men's singles, Daniel Blanche, right with me. How does it feel? Uh, it feels really, really great uh, to achieve this goal, which is something I've been working towards for a long, long time, and it just feels like I broke a record. Okay, and you know, those personal goals and that state championship mean a lot to you, but what was it like kind of celebrating that with your teammates over at Vail Christian? Um, it was really great with the support from my coaches, my school, my teammates. Um, they're really supportive and they were really happy that I had won states and I was really happy so we kind of celebrated it together. And you're sort of a newcomer to the Valley. You were just telling me about two and a half years you've been living here now. But uh, when did you first pick up the racket and know you were hooked that tennis was your sport? I actually first picked up the racket when I was six, but I first really started loving tennis was when I moved here. Um, that's when I really got into tennis. I really started training hard and taking it seriously. Okay, and what do you think is the most interesting part of the game? Is it just kind of the sport itself, the competition? I think it's probably just um, the amount of friends you can make and the amount of fun you can have on the court. Um, sometimes you have bad days, but the good days is what really makes it intriguing and making me want to come onto the court. And you're a state champion. You don't just get there on luck. You got to put in all the work. What was the work like building up to taking home, you know, a gold medal? So I definitely had to train every week at least two or three times. Um, I also went to a lot of off-season tournaments, which were tournaments outside of high school season. And I was basically just training all year intensively. Okay, and you know, Vail Christian, you played in 4A and you took home a 4A state title, but Vail Christian normally bounces around that 2A mark. What was it like competing against some of those kids that come from bigger schools, maybe around Denver and those bigger towns? Um, well, especially I'd say the kids from Denver, some of them were really crazy uh, from the big schools, like with 1,000, 2,000 people. They just had some really, really good players. Um, so that was fun for me. Okay, and how did you remain confident? You know, those kids, like they stack up pretty well against, you know, small town kids typically, but how did you remain confident when you were taking on a kid from a bigger school? I'd say the main reason I remained confident is because in the off season I had played guys like these before. I played in Denver, so I played against uh, city players who have been playing a lot from bigger schools, so I kind of have already played against these types of opponents. Okay, and I don't know if you thought about this yet, but with you know a 4A state championship win, you're putting Vail Christian on the map, let alone the Valley. How does that feel? Uh, it feels really, really great, especially after all Vail Christian has done for me. The school has been super supportive. Um, they've taught me a bunch of values, including courage and hard work, which I think are really important uh, for my success. Okay, and you know, not too long ago, you took home that victory, but what are you thinking about right now? Has it hit you that you're a state champion? Like, just kind of walk me through your mindset. Are you already thinking about next year? Kind of walk um, me through there. Yeah, so uh, it's definitely, I've been really, really happy these few weeks, especially after achieving my goal. Uh, I'm just thinking that was really great, but I'm also thinking that, all right, that's in the past. It's a great achievement, but I'm looking for next year and to win it again. Okay, and what will it take for you to get back to that stage again and take home that crown? It's going to take a lot of training, just like last year, and maybe even more intensive, uh, some fitness, um, and lots of tournaments around America. Okay, well, you've already done it once. You've gone through all the training, all those hurdles, and you've come up there in the end with the gold medal. Is it all worth it? You know, the training, the hustle, the maybe waking up early to practice before school, is it all worth it? I'd say it's definitely worth it because um, part of like the process itself is, is fun. It's not always fun, like the fitness isn't fun, but it can be fun. So it's not just the achievement, it's the, the process and the work it took to get there. It was all really fun for me. Okay, any uh, downtime in your future right now to kind of put down the racket for a minute and just, you know, have some fun? Uh, no, not for me. I'm just gonna keep hitting uh, as much as I can, as much as, as many tournaments as I can go to. True athlete, all about the grind, huh? Oh yeah, always. All right, well, anything you wanna add, Daniel? Um, I just wanna uh, give a shout out to my coaches, Coach Eric and Coach JD, and even my dad, they've helped me so much 
just so much uh, improve mentally, physically, as a player and as a person. So it's truly thanks to all of them that I won states. Well, congratulations, Daniel. We're all proud of you here. Yeah, thank you. Make sure to continue coming back to us for all the latest sports coverage here in the Valley and beyond. We'll see you next time.